And we continue to follow a developing story tonight out of Kokomo where multiple fires are under investigation. And tonight there's growing concerns that the fires were intentionally set. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara has been looking into them and has what law enforcement is calling suspicious details. A series of fires kept crews busy overnight here in Kokomo. And in fact, there were so many so close together, the fire department called them suspicious and is now working with police to track down someone they believe might be responsible. The first call for a vehicle fire came in just before two o'clock in the morning. If anybody's 10 eight, let's start getting down here to district two. There's Somebody setting these all over here. Over the next hour, four more cars, a garage, and a house would go up in flames, all within about a four block radius. I was like, well, I hope whatever's going on, they're all right, you know? And then, you know, I got the phone call, and then I really hoped. Luke Morgan was at work when he learned his and his family's belongings were gone. But I can't help but to feel blessed because. Uh, it showed me how many people were really on our side. Even complete strangers are reaching out telling me that they've got a bed for my daughter, or what size clothes does she need, and, and things like that. Though the fire department says nobody was hurt in any of the fires, Morgan says they lost several pets and items that hold sentimental value for him and his five-year-old daughter. She's a, a little artist, and uh, we collected everything that she's drawn since she was a baby, and it all got burnt as well. A fire department spokesperson says this footage from a ring camera that points toward Morgan's house is the best lead they have so far. Not much can be seen about the person shown in it, but moments later, the bright flames appear, and he says arson is suspected. You know, you don't think it's going to be you, you know, um, until it's you, I guess. Samantha Horton also happened to be awake as the fires were popping up around the neighborhood. I heard... I thought it was gunshots, but it was apparently my husband's truck being set on fire. It then spread to her garage. Uh, yeah, immediately after I heard it, I, I heard the fire truck sirens. So I'm like, that was very quick for them to be already here. Officials say it's been at least 20 years since the last time so many fires were intentionally set in Kokomo. I just thought it was crazy that somebody would do that to innocent people. So if you could say something to the person who's responsible for this, what would you say to them? Uh -huh. It's my mom's house, man, you know, and my mom never heard a fly. Um, it's uh, it's my childhood home. I grew up in it, and my, my daughter's been growing up in it for, you know, the last three years, too. She's only five. It's the majority of her life she's been here. It's all our memories, and um, who, who are you to take that from us, you know? A spokesperson for the Kokomo Fire Department is asking the community to be vigilant and share any information or security camera footage with investigators. In Kokomo, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.